and he damn near smoked you. You see it on twerk. It's your boy James. Trust the process. I want to just talk about protecting your peace and sometimes it's not easy to protect your peace sometimes we have to go through those hard times in order to appreciate the good times Die being dirty. <laughs> it's your boy jim's just to stop being dirty stop eating dirty trust the process Link in the bio for all merchandise. Thank you for everybody who subscribed to the channel, everybody who checks out the merchandise. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? We're building a channel, doing all kind of, you know, I got a few things in the works right now. I have a whole idea that I hope I, I'm able to push through for um, just, um, I, it's basically just to help, help help people in the battle rap community, battle rap, battle rapper specifically with health along that line. And I have an idea that I've been chopping it up with some people behind the scenes. And hopefully if we could get this going, man, I think it'll be something real special for um, just the, my, my personal growth and, and, and that help others and like, you know, just build off of each other to just uh, about this longevity, this health and fitness, man. Cause it don't matter. You don't gotta go to the gym and lift six plates and you ain't gotta do three hours of cardio. But if you're trying to make your life better by making yourself better and starting with making yourself better is make yourself feel better and what better way to do that than um getting yourself healthy and who gives a shit about your weights cassidy he's throwing a tournament he got a uh he got this uh mansion going on where he, he rented out this mansion this uh this airbnb surface like oh i thought i was the only one who knew how to do that and then you know basically he got everybody going into the um the mansion it was crazy like i was like yo what's going on like he got all kind of big names in there like i mean I, I, we're gonna go through it actually actually i actually took some notes so uh you have all kind of top tiers legends you know murder mook is in there rex you got his man jag in there all kind we're gonna go through that but so basically what's going on salute to hip-hop is real salute to 15 minutes of fame who's basically been keeping us updated on what's been going on in there you know what i'm saying so um basically what, what uh he hasn't been so so specific but he's been kind of specific so let's just be specific on the specifics cassidy's throwing a tournament it's a tournament that has um I, I, it's rumored to have the grand prize for 100k sounds familiar and um he's basically but this his form of a tournament is 10 different teams and his 10 team captains are himself cassidy murder mook that's murder with an a danny myers the bar god jag it's just jag uh calico hello calico um gichi gotti you are everywhere sir is there anywhere you are not reed dollars i need dollars salute to reed easy the blocketh captain daylight not afraid of stage fright and t-rex cassidy murder move danny myers jack calico gichi gotti reed dollars eat a block captain Daylight and T-Rex are the team captains. This e it, it is it is safe to say that Cassidy, sir, you are a different type of sandwich. And um, so he's throwing, he's throwing, so this is 10 team captains, it's 10 teams. And basically from what I heard from watching um, um Cassidy on an uh, angry fan interview, salute to salute to caps, um, all, all kind of shit like that. What I'm putting together from, from everything that I'm seeing is it's 10 teams. The the battlers that are gonna be battling on these teams are gonna be um up and comers, maybe some people we haven't even heard of. So it's gonna be top tier names as top name, you know, top notable names. Not not because no not all you motherfuckers on that list is top tier, let's be serious. But top notable names, very, very you know, dope artists in battle rap that are gonna have their own team. And I'm pretty sure the, the the people on the team are gonna be up and comers. So it'll be the you know you know these names picking you know what I'm saying like a basketball tournament type shit. So we have that. Then we hear there's a big grand prize of rumored to be a hundred k. We have that. Then then there's, he's saying it's gonna have a, a they're gonna do like a website with this where the fans can somehow join in and get some um, paper as well. 
So, like, you know, I guess, you know, you pick a team. If your team's winning, maybe you win. Maybe you have to, you know, sign up for $10 and you can win $500. I don't know how it is. This is just me going off of the little things Cassidy's saying here and there. But there's going to be something where the fans are included. We can sign up and things like that. So, I hope you all do that. I'll be doing it myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm supporting anything that's pushing the culture. You know what I'm saying? Cassidy's doing that. URL's doing that. RBE, King of the Dot, Trap House, We Go Hard. I battle, you know what I'm saying, Gates of the Garden, every anything that like, you know, we could be a part of and like help push forward, I'm all with that because it just makes battle rap better. So let's all get in tune with that. So then Cassidy, um, uh, so you have that. So so you have 10 teams, you have a tournament style going on. Uh also, man, having all these big names, he's also he's also saying that he's gonna have a face-off. Like, say, like, you'll never see a Cassidy versus T-Rex. Maybe that battle won't happen, but he's going to give you a T-Rex Cassidy face-off or a Danny Midas Daylight face-off. He was also saying that he wants to start doing that. I mean, he has all these people in his house. Who knows the kind of ideas, you know? Like he said, he put the best minds and pens of bad rap under the same roof. And there's a few dudes missing. I'm not going to say those are the best best, but it's definitely a heavy hitting crew that he has in there. And I think it's dope what he's doing. Super fire. I'm looking forward to see how the tournament will be set up. You know? I'm saying who's gonna be on the teams if we ever heard of them before things of that nature so i just want to say salute to cassidy you know what i'm saying because i definitely was all on cassidy's side when he was coming back i think he beat disaster then i think he was and versus goods then i think he was terrible versus arsenal then i started calling him delusional cassidy you know what i'm saying because because i was calling him delusional cassidy for the simple fact that if you think you you did good in that arsenal battle or a couple rounds versus goods like it just wasn't so if you really think that's good you delusional if you think you're gonna do it again but really i was delusional thinking that we thought he was delusional motherfuckers probably a mastermind for all we know that stupid little smile he does is like yeah i got you motherfuckers they give him that that, that you know when arp's like you'll be good he just smiled at him during the face off that moment he probably smiles at all of us behind the scenes like that like oh you thought so salute to cassidy you know what i'm saying doing shit like this i think it's super fire and he's involving a lot of people so that's dope as well um uh, now looking forward to seeing that how that's gonna go down when it's gonna go down you know what i'm saying and uh you know at the end of the day like you know he was talking about judging and all kind of things and what i would say this man to salute to cassidy for paying attention because he sees the king of the dot tournament he sees the url tournament so when you see you let people make mistakes before you and now when you do it you have less mistakes when you're doing something similar to what you've seen people do and fuck up not fuck up but you know what i'm saying king of the dot should have did this should have that url should have this should have that and now he sees the shoulda coulda woulda and now he can implement what he can do but he'll also try his own things that'll be hit and miss also that's what it is you got to take challenges in life you have to push yourself you have to take a fucking chance you know what i'm saying the, the most wasted talent on this in this world is in the graveyard people who are too afraid to take that chance that leap of faith and just give it a shot so don't ever let nobody or anything stop you from doing that if you have a creative mind get creative and put it you know what's the worst that could happen just don't work out you know what i'm saying like when i started a job like 12 13 years ago you know i wanted to ask the boss something i can't remember exactly what i wanted to ask him but one of my co-workers said what's the worst that you can say is no and that shit stuck with me, man. And you know what I'm saying? I made a lot of slogans and quotes off of like where that started from. Cassidy wants how much to battle? Cassidy was asked, how much would it cost you to come back to battle? Because, you know, you got the face sauce popping up. You know, you and Hitman is, is running the culture right now as far as, you know, what's going on. As far, you know, it's, it's in a front. I mean, this dude single-handedly made the world hate Hitman. Let's be serious. I don't hate him, and even people who might not hate him hate but you know what I mean? He really turned people on him, man, for real. Even as, you know, he, to this day, I'm telling y'all, because I'm on Twitter. Check my Twitter, just underscore gyms. Follow me on there. Follow me on Instagram, it's gyms underscore. Um, so that, that's crazy. So he's like, yo, you see what I did with my face off with this? So when um, Angry Fan, I asked him in an interview and said, how much would it cost you to come back and battle? And he said this. Get off this live, and you tell me you got a million? <laughs> You got a million dollars sitting to the side, I might consider it. You know, sometimes you don't know if this guy is serious or not. Like, yo, Cassidy could be dead ass serious. Like, seri like seriously, seriously, seriously. Or he could be throwing that, that number out there and wants close to it. You know, who knows? You know, it's just like he had a serious face on and said, look what I do. I don't have to come back to battle. I mean, not for nothing. He just got a big bag. You know, if he is a part of the, you know, he, he got a big bag in the battle. You know, he got big. He, he's been battling fairly consistently. If you really, I mean, motherfucker battles more than me and a lot of other, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he he's he's active. 
and in these battles that are that weren't so so far from each other like you know what i'm saying if you take over a year or even almost a year and a half or so but you're getting a quarter million dollars i mean what the fuck that's a that's a sad that's more than come on that's more than people's salaries you know what i'm saying shit that's way more than people's salaries. what the fuck am i talking about i don't know what the fuck you working at that's a, that's a lot of fucking money you know what I'm saying? For fucking 10 minutes of work. You know, so he can sit back, you know, if he's smart with his money and be able to invest in and take his time. So I say that to say this. If he wants a big amount of money, he can sit back and wait for it. Right now, the ball's in his court. He did what he was supposed to do. You know, people are like, what are you talking about, Hitman? No, Hitman didn't win that fucking battle, man. I mean, he... even if you say Hitman won the second and third round, which I don't think he did. The impact of Cassidy's first round ran that whole battle. Nothing was more impactful than that first round. It was like, after that, it was like the better of the worst of the two. It's round two and three, right or wrong. That first round, when they both were on 100, Cassidy had a more impactful round. Where was I? Yes. Come on, yo. Come on, yo. So what I'm saying is... he. he he knows the power that he has. Then he does. Then he has that. That he has the face-off crown. Then he has the the, the huge battle. She's like over three million views in a week. Then he's throwing a fucking tournament. He's doing shit. So his name is still active. So now he's doing this tournament that his name's still gonna be a part of, attached to. Like this dude is making moves. Do I feel like Cassidy deserves a million dollars? I feel like he deserves ten million. I feel like Geechee, Murder Mook, T I feel like anybody in this world, Danny Myers, any gyms, for God's sakes, anybody who believes what they're worth is what they're worth because that's what they believe they're worth. Nobody in this world can tell you your worth. You know what I'm saying? In, a, in another sense, like, come on, a fucking million dollars. But yo, if that's what he feels he wants, that's what he wants. If that's what you feel. See, this is the problem. Like, and I'm using it. Uh, of course we know a million dollars is fucking type ridiculous. Let's be fucking real here. R just in case you think I'm, you know, all my delusional shit. But what I'm saying is, you know, just to bring this into a message. People are going to treat you the way you allow them to treat you. People are going to treat you the way you allow them to. People treat you the way you allow them to. You set the precedence on how someone should speak to you, treat you. Everything towards you is what you set for them. You give them, okay, you, you give them a type of energy, aura, or, or whatever. It, you show them your personality, your self-worth, and they are going to fucking judge and treat you a certain way off of how you show them how to. So so, so, so you in, in this world, you always have to know your worth, know what you deserve. You know what I'm saying? I fell out with certain leagues or certain battles didn't go down because i feel like i'm worth what the fuck i want whether that's a hundred dollars or a hundred thousand dollars it doesn't matter if you feel like you you've earned something you put in enough work to get something and someone doesn't have to agree but if you stand on yours it is what it is sometimes you'll ha you'll never get it or sometimes you will but at the end of the day you still you stood true to yourself and that's what matters staying true to you Stay true to you. No one out here can tell you what the fuck you deserve. Nobody knows what it was for you that what it took for you to get to where you got. Nobody's there riding the rhymes with you, the stressful nights. Nobody's there with you getting up in the morning for work, working overnight shifts and going to your children. You, nobody's there when you're putting in this pain. Nobody's there when you're taking care of your, 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 your sick family members or, have, or, 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 or having to just, just, just do everything in your life that nobody gives a shit about. They just care about what the fuck you can do for them. And that's all they care about. So keep that shit in your mind when you're making decisions in your life of showing people what you deserve. I hope we all get a million dollars. I hope we get $10 million is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I know I got off the point. Y'all get the point. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments. But, you know, I got in my bag right now because I'm passionate about this, man. You, got, you get treated the way you fucking allow someone to treat you. So know your worth because you deserve what you show people you deserve. And what I think you deserve is everything you've earned and everything that you stand for is what you deserve. Point blank, period. Y'all have a great day. Subscribe to the channel. Stop being dirty.